Hey guys, I'm recording this video for my own personal benefit. I'll be showing this for my Super Bowl devotion, and I thought that you guys might benefit from it too. So I'm putting it on here uh, to give you guys that option. So I hope you're blessed by it. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. So we live in a world where sins abound, and inevitably, We've developed our tolerance for some sins and our intolerance for other sins. We tend to be quick to justify our own sins and just as quick to condemn others for their sins. Let's read scripture. There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. He answered them, do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those 18 on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Based on the way that Jesus answered them, they weren't bringing up the Galileans because they were concerned over some terrible event that had happened, but rather they were bringing it up implying that the Galileans had done something inherently sinful to, to bring this sort of punishment on themselves. But Jesus wasn't having that. His focus was to get them to see their own sins by saying, unless you repent, you too will perish. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven. But he beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. It doesn't matter if you consider yourself to be religious or non-religious, but what does matter is if you don't repent, you will likewise perish. Jesus said, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The worst sins are the ones in our own lives that we haven't confessed and repented of. God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves before God. Repent and live. Guys, this is what it's all about. I hope that you go out into the world and that you are filled with love, that you are the change that you want to see in the world. And may you be blessed. Fill this world with light, guys. Peace.